We're fortunate to have a community group like AEE that annually provides grants to our teachers. The grants that we receive allow us to provide enrichment opportunities that we could not provide normally with the resources that we have. Uh, their grants uh, offer innovation, offer our teachers the resources that are second to none so that we can provide our students with experiences. They make learning fun and learning engagement and we're just proud to have AEE as a partner and look forward to seeing the, the grants that have been awarded uh, this year to become reality. We received funding last year for this school year to create sculptures with our fifth graders who've studied Leonardo da Vinci. Um, they've looked at his sculptures and they looked at his notebooks where he brainstormed his ideas. So they went through this whole brainstorming process where they had to come up with their own ideas on how to build a sculpture. And then we took the materials that AEE purchased or helped us purchase and they built their own sculpture. And they had to make all of the decisions. They had to decide, I mean, they had to figure out how to build it. Then they had to make the decision about how to pose it. And they had to make decisions about color. And they had to plan and make decisions about what kinds of materials they would need to add details to their sculptures like the hair or um, the clothes that they want to put on the sculpture. Um, and then we got, also got funding from the same grant to buy iPads for this classroom so that this, these students can make a stop motion video with the sculptures which is where stop motion is where you place it and you take a picture and then you move it just a little bit and you take another picture and you move it just a little bit and you take another picture kind of like Gumby and then the, you put them all together and it looks like it's moving. So we're, our goal is to try to make about a 15 second video and I'm going to have them work together so they can have more than one sculpture in a video. And the, another goal is to try to get some sound over the video like um, maybe a voiceover or music. One grant that I received in the past is the Listening Lounge. It consists of the listening centers and then headphones to go with it. We also received books on CD for the children to, um, to read and follow along as they are listening. This grant promotes comprehension and um, helps them to improve their reading skills. It also helps with fluency and vocabulary, building with their vocabulary. They listen to the stories and then the teacher will provide follow-up activities to go along with each story that the children read. My grant covered the Votec department coming over and building a little room off the back of my classroom to house my kills. To fire all the ceramics. Somebody donated all of these molds and I didn't have any way anything to do with them so we worked to with AEE to build the little room and to house the kilns that we had because you can't have them in the classroom because of fumes so now we have a whole new ceramics one and two curriculum. Most of these that you see here were made out of these molds that were donated and we pour the slip in then after it's hardened all day we take it out and we set it out to dry after it's good and dry, we put it in the kiln for eight hours and then they paint as they're doing now. Then we fire them again and they come out nice and shiny and ready to use. All right, guys, today we're going to draw a parrot from our South American rainforest because that's what we've been talking about. So what shape is this parrot's beak? A triangle. A triangle. Awesome. So we're going to draw that triangle first on our paper. So I want y'all to draw that triangle together on your paper and look our kids can do this because this was made possible by a grant from AEE <laughs> AEE was, uh, was founded uh, in 1983 by a small group of individuals that were committed to the success of public education, especially in Tupelo. And over the last roughly 32 years, um, we have awarded over um, $3 million in grants. Uh, and so that, those funds have gone directly back into the schools here in Tupelo. 
and we just want to say thank you. Um, every single dollar that we raise of your contributions goes straight back to our classroom and affects every single student in the Tupelo Public School District. Each year we have about two to three times the amount of requests that we actually have funding for. So with your new contributions we'll be able to make sure that we're able to reach more students and impact in more of our students' lives. So thank you again. Thank you. Thanks, A-E-E. Thanks, A-E-E. Thanks, A-E-E.